Good morning, students. Good morning, everyone. We are back, and today we will go through the summary of our second chapter, which is Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice, and the good part is that uh, this chapter in our book is given in the form of a comic strip. Uh, we all are aware about comics, right? Uh, though these days uh, they are not that popular. Like when I was a kid, we used to read so many comics uh, every now and then. Uh, these days, because of mobile phones and uh, TV, internet, uh, comics are not that popular amongst kids anymore. However, uh, we all know about comics, right? Uh, comics uh, are like uh, so popular amongst kids. Uh, we we get to like uh, read uh, stories in comics, but then there is a difference. Uh, these are not simple stories they have got so many pictures uh, all the like uh, uh, characters the entire story is uh, depicted uh, like uh, in the form of uh, pictures and uh, uh, less of talking more of visuals so in the story in the comic strips as we already know that uh, like uh, there is a certain way of presenting the like uh, dialogues and the story and the characters and uh, there are these uh, some small uh, words which normally you will not see in any in any like novel or story book like a boom or or, or a, a bush uh, and these sounds like when when somebody punches someone right we get to see these uh, like uh, words like the sounds they are they are written there there are symbols so these comics were like very popular and uh, our chapter is in the form of a comic strip so it will become more interesting we will have so many pictures uh, depicting the entire story right so students uh, let's uh, summarize this chapter it's a very small uh, story uh, and uh, uh, it's it's a, it's a it's taken from a novel with the same name it's taken uh, from a novel with the same name pride and prejudice uh, so let's talk about uh, the name of the uh, like uh, story or the novel and then let's talk about the author of the like uh, story or i should say the novel uh, the author has not written this uh, story uh, in our book like which is given in, in our book and then we'll we'll summarize the uh, uh, story before summarizing we'll talk about the characters the characters of our story right so students pride and prejudice what does pride means pride we all know uh, pride is when uh, we are too fond of something uh, like the degree of fondness is so high that uh, it uh, this this quality becomes negative uh, like see prou being proud of something is not that bad like i am proud of my country i am proud of my uh, my students it's it's a good thing you, you, we should be proud of uh, what uh, we own but then if we are too proud of something uh, like uh, which we will talk about in this chapter uh, so uh, see uh, pride all does not uh, like is not always a negative uh, uh, like uh, entity uh, negative thing negative item but then in this chapter we'll see that uh, there are people who are uh, proud of what they have like uh, their money their wealth their uh, richnesses uh, their property they are so proud of it right so uh, pride in this chapter we'll see characters who are proud of uh, uh, their belongings and then prejudice prejudice what does this word mean uh, prejudice is uh, your opinion about uh, someone uh, and especially when you don't know them uh, well uh, so it happens uh, quite often that uh, we see a person and uh, we don't know that person well uh, and uh, we form some opinions uh, about that person in our minds uh, like we'll take an example uh, a new student uh, joins our school and uh, he or she joins uh, your class and uh, it's it's only a day or two that this uh, student has been a part of our class and all the students will form some opinion about this uh, new student uh, like we will will assume that this student has got this quality or that quality we have not spoken to this person uh, like a lot we have not known this person uh, like a lot uh, but still we will form some opinions about this person and these opinions that we form about someone which are actually our assumptions we have assumed these things these are not based on some uh, like uh, facts uh, these are the, just our, uh, our um, uh, assumptions based on uh, this person's uh, appearance maybe uh, like uh, his or her looks maybe his or her clothes maybe the way this person uh, like conducts himself or herself like the way he or she walks or talks we assume certain things and we will say uh, we have got uh, prejudices about this new student right so prejudice is your opinion about someone when you don't know that person well 
most of the time these pre prejudices are proved wrong so this is our chapter pride and prejudices we will have some characters some people who will be uh, too proud of what they own and then they will also have opinions about other people and this is the chapter about right so let's talk about the author of the uh, like novel uh, the uh, pride and prejudice <coughs> jane austen students jane austen jane austen is such a popular name jane austen is such a popular name she is considered one of the like uh, uh, one of the greatest uh, english authors uh, she has not written much uh, like if we look at the volume of uh, content that she has created she has written only six novels okay she has written only six novels and only four of those were published when she was alive two of them uh, were uh, like published later after her death uh, she uh, was born in 1775 <clears throat> she was born in 1775 and uh, lived through till 1817 so if we calculate uh 25 plus 17 would be 35 plus 7 would be 42 she lived only for 42 years and uh, in these 42 years and with the help of these six novels that she has written she has become so famous but one in interesting fact students she was not very famous when she, when she was alive when she published all those four novels those novels were not uh, like uh, complete disasters they were not uh, like flop Uh, they did some business they were like read uh, a bit but then all the popularity all the fame that jane austen earned it was after her death actually in 1933 uh, some publisher published uh, like all her six novels together as a set and after that her popularity started increasing like uh, at a very very uh, fast speed and uh, people started like noticing uh, her uh, style of writing and the uh, great qualities and uh, techniques that she used uh, in her writings uh, so only after her death only after like uh, so long after her death she became so popular and so popular that she is considered one of the greatest authors of english these days uh, even like uh, she is uh, even read today like uh, her novels have been uh, like uh, we have been like publishing and uh, you know uh, reprinting and reprinting her novels uh, uh, continuously and the, the her novels are still famous people still read them jane austen students uh, what about what else about jane austen uh, jane austen has written uh, like uh, some uh, poems and some short stories as well but then uh, like uh, she is famous for her novels and the most famous is pride and prejudice uh, this was her second novel and uh, this is the most popular novel uh, she had uh, written she has written and uh, she got all the fame after her death i was about to tell uh, one more thing about uh, the great miss jane austen i am forgetting it but uh, fine so jane austen uh, and pride and prejudice uh, pride and prejudice has been adapted yeah this was it it has been adapted uh, like uh, in a different medium so many times like so many movies have been made uh, based on uh, this uh, story of pride and prejudice uh, so it's it's a very popular uh, one uh, like not only the no novel but uh, all the different movies which have been made and all the different tv series which have been made they are all very very popular uh, students uh, we should start the chapter i guess which it's a very interesting story and uh, let's talk about the characters of this uh, th this comic strip that is there in our book <coughs> so uh, we have got one family uh, bennet family bennet family we have got mr bennet and we have got mrs bennet and we have got their uh, three daughters their three daughters uh, the eldest one is uh, uh, jane then we have got elizabeth and the third one is not uh, named in this uh, like uh, strip in this comic strip that we have but her name was lydia her name was lydia and so we have got uh, bennet family right mr uh, bennet mrs bennet and the three daughters and then on the other hand we have got the bingley family who are these bingleys bingley family has just uh, moved uh, in this locality uh, so let's talk about this locality uh, this is uh, like uh, uh, the in the countryside of uh, england so what is countryside countryside is like uh, the village side the rural side so in england uh, they have got cities and they have got countryside so countryside is the uh, village area the the rural area the not so developed area the not so city area right so uh, bennet family lives in uh, longbourn 
parent family lives in Longbon. Longbon is like the name of the small uh, place, small uh, locality where they live. And the Bigley family has just moved uh, in the countryside. They, are, they don't stay too far, they stay like 3 miles away. Uh, they uh, stay in this place called Netherfield. Netherfield. So, Bennett family, Bingley family. Now, Bingley family is quite rich. They are very rich, they are very wealthy. Uh, who is there in the Bingley family? Mr. Bingley. Now, don't assume that Mr. Bingley is the same age as Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bennett is an old person with three daughters. Mr. Bingley is a young, unmarried, rich person. He has got two sisters. Uh, one sister's name is mentioned in the book, Caroline Bingley. So, he has got two sisters, Miss Bingley and the other Miss Bingley, right? So, Mr. Bingley and his two sisters, young sisters. And then we have got Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy. Uh, so, let me actually uh, keep writing these things. I'm sorry. So, we have got uh, uh, Mr. Bennett and uh, yeah, this will be good. Mr. Bennett, let me confirm uh, the spelling of the name B E W N E T. B E W N E T, yeah, I thought so. That is why I went back B E W N E T. Mr. Bennett and we have got Mrs. Bennett and uh, we have got uh, Jane, we have got Jane and we have got Elizabeth. We have got Jane and we have got Elizabeth. And here we have got uh, Mr. Bingley, Mr. Bingley, and then we have got Miss, we have got two uh, Miss Bingleys. Uh, I am putting a S plural Bingley's and then we have got Mr. Darcy, Mr. Darcy. Uh, this is not the right way to uh, write uh, two Miss Bingley's. Uh, there are like two sisters, Miss Bingley and her other younger sister Miss Bingley. So, there are two Bingley sisters, two Bingley sisters I should have written. So, these are the main characters. Uh, now. So, we have not been told too much of background like uh, how these families know each other and how many times they have met and things like that. But then the story begins when uh, uh, an, an invitation has come. An invitation has come from uh, Bingley house to Bennett house and the invitation is uh, from uh, Caroline Bingley, the first sister, the first sister who is Caroline and uh, it is for Jane, it is for Jane. So, an, uh, an invitation for dinner has come and everyone is happy in the house. Uh, well, I should say Jane is happy and Mrs. Bennett is happy. Jane is uh, quite uh, happy and Mrs. Bennett is like much more happier uh, upon receiving this invitation. So, this invitation is uh, from uh, Caroline uh, uh, like uh, Bingley and it is for dinner. Now, why these two ladies are happy? Mrs. Bingley wants that. Uh, Mr. Sorry, Mrs. Bennett. Mrs. Bennett wants that Mr. Bingley should get married to one of her daughters. Now, Mr. Bingley is such a rich uh, guy. He's such a rich person, such a rich man. So, it is like a common middle class uh, uh, mentality that uh, we should get our daughter married to a rich uh, man. And they have got such a great opportunity. Mr. Bingley has come to stay in the in the neighborhood, and uh, it would be it would be so great if uh, one of their daughters get married to uh, Mr. Bingley. Uh, like uh, her daughter's life will be uh, so uh, like uh, comfortable and uh, 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 like uh, you know rich after after like she uh, gets married. So she basically uh, plans that Jane. She, yeah, she hopes. I should say she hopes not plans. She hopes that Jane gets married to Mr. Bingley. And when uh, Jane gets an invitation for dinner, uh, these two ladies are happy. Uh, Jane uh, wants to go there uh, on a on a like uh, coach on a horse uh, on a horse coach. Uh, and uh, like Mrs. Bennett tells uh, her that uh, that is not possible because uh, their horses are busy. Like her father has sent all the horses for, uh, on business, like uh, you know uh, assignments, and uh, he can't uh, like uh, spare those horses. He can't uh, like. Uh, all those horses for Jane. So, Jane cannot have the coach. So, we are talking about a like cart, a coach pulled by horses. Uh, so, like two horses or four horses. Uh, these like uh, back in uh, old days in, in England, people used to like they didn't have cars. The like rich people used to uh, travel on these uh, coaches uh, pulled by horses. So, 
like um, you only uh, even two horses can pull one but then if a rich man will have like four or six horses as well uh, to pull the coach uh, so mrs bennett uh, tells that uh, horses are not available uh, you can uh, go on the horseback you can go on uh, like the back of one of our horses so they have got one horse at their home who whom she can take and go so she will not have the coach but she can ride a horse she can she can ride a horse to reach uh, like uh, mr bingley's house mr bingley's house so this place is longbourn uh, longbourn let me actually confirm the spelling of longbourn this english uh, uh, small county small place uh, l o n g b o u r n b o u r n longbourn and uh, netherfields netherfields uh, netherfields right uh nether it is only netherfield uh, i i got mixed up with netherlands so it's only nether netherfield not netherfields so uh jane would uh, like go from uh, uh, longbourn to netherfield on a horseback uh this was decided there was a like a uh, uh, plan mrs uh, bennet had in her uh, mind and what was that plan actually it uh, the weather was such uh, on that uh, day on that evening the weather was such that it appeared as if it is about to rain and mrs uh, bennet was hoping that it should certainly rain because if it rains jane will not be able to come back the same evening and jane will stay there overnight and this way she will get more time to spend with mr bingley and this way she'll have more time to attract mr bingley uh, to get to get married to her so this was uh, uh, something which was going on in mrs bennet's uh, uh, mind right so uh, jane will leave on a horse back uh, for uh, netherfield and as as soon as uh, she will leave it will start raining and it will rain heavily it will rain heavily and uh, mrs bennet's plan uh, like uh, uh, became successful uh, it became it rained so heavily that uh, jane got uh, so wet when she reached there and uh, actually she fell ill she uh, got cold she caught cold okay we can say she got cold or we can say she caught cold ha huh? uh, cold we understand all of us we understand sardi sardi lag jati hai jab hum when we get wet in uh, like rain we uh, get uh, cold right so she got fever as well she got cold and fever and she was ill and uh, the information came the next morning the next morning a letter was received in bennet house uh, in uh, longbourn which uh, which was by uh, like from jane which was from jane Uh, she must have di- dictated someone else must have written it because uh, she was ill she was lying in a bed there in in, uh, in fever uh, so the letter informed them that uh, she has caught o- uh, cold and uh, bingleys are uh, insisting they are like forcing her to stay there till the time she is well she should leave only when she is well so like uh, this was it uh, mrs bennet is kind of happy but then uh, Mr Bennet did not like this Mr Bennet uh, uh, like taunts Mrs Bennet he says he says uh, uh, well if uh, my daughter dies because of uh, because of her illness uh, that should be fine we'll be fine because we'll know because we'll know that uh, her death uh, uh, has like uh, happened or or she has died she has died uh like for a for a big reason she had a big purpose uh like behind uh, uh behind uh, like losing her life uh, she has not like uh, she she is not going to die uh, for any small reason like she is not uh, dying just like that she is re- dying for a big purpose big reason and the purpose the reason is uh, to get uh, like uh, uh, to pursue to pursue mr bingley the word pursue is used in the in the chapter pursue p u r s u e what is pursue Uh, pursue is to follow to follow uh, like when you are when you are after something when you are after something uh, you when you are following something you are pursuing it like uh, uh, i am pursuing bsc uh, so uh, like this was in a different uh, uh, sense uh, but yeah when you are like uh, after someone uh, even for like marriage or uh, for job or something you are you are pursuing it i am pursuing uh, 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 what you are pursuing what like no, normally this word these days is used for uh, these courses btech bsc and all pursue is uh, when you are after something so yeah we'll know that jane has died for a reason she the reason was that she was pursuing uh, 
Mr. Bingley. So we'll not be like uh, uh, sad. We'll be like fine. Okay, fine. Come on, our daughter died. So this was a taunt. This was a taunt to Mrs. Bingley. Sorry, Mrs. Bennett, because he was not happy that uh, 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 she is putting her do his daughter, yeah, their daughter, to go through all this uh, for her uh, like uh, mean, selfish, shrewd, cunning uh, like intentions. So we can say that Mrs. Bennett is a little shrewd. She's she's a little cunning, right? She's cunning. She's uh, playing all these uh, mind games. Uh, she's planning all these things. She's trying to bring Mr. Bingley and Jane closer to so that uh, he is uh, attracted towards her and they get married. So uh, Mrs. Bingley, uh, Mrs. Bennett, sorry, but replied, uh, "Don't you worry. Uh, people don't die of cold. Cold is such a common uh, condition. Nobody dies of it. Don't worry." Uh, but uh, Elizabeth, the younger sister, the younger sister Elizabeth, see, the, I have not uh, written the name of the third sister because it's not in our comic strip. So the second sister Elizabeth, she decides that she will go to see her sister. She will go to see her sister because uh, she is ill and she is in a different, uh, like she is in somebody else's uh, home and house, I should say. And she won't be that comfortable. Like if she was at uh, her own home, uh, like uh, her mother would be there, G Elizabeth would be there to take care of uh, her and she would be so much uh, more comfortable at her own home. But she was in a, like in, in somebody else's house, so she won't be comfortable and Elizabeth decides that she will go there. And uh, uh, well, uh, again the same problem, there is no coach uh, and uh, she does not even know how to ride a horse. Uh, Elizabeth is not a horse rider, she does not uh, has that uh, skill. So she decides that she will walk all the way to Netherfield. Mrs. Bennett is uh, doubtful about that. She's like, uh, you will not be uh, fit to be seen when you arrive there. Like when you arrive there after walking so long, you will not be in a good condition, uh, in, in, a, in a presentable condition. And uh, three miles, uh, students, three miles is how much? One mile is 1.6 kilometers. So three miles would be roughly uh, like around approximately five kilometers. Uh, but uh, Elizabeth uh, decides that she will walk. Uh, Mr. Bennett uh, at this uh, says, uh, dear daughter, is this a sign uh, to me that I should like uh, send someone to bring the coach and the horses? Uh, do you want me to, to, to <coughs> sorry, do you want me to do that? Uh, Elizabeth says, no, uh, father, don't worry, uh, I will walk. And uh, three miles is not a long distance if someone has got a, a motive, someone has got a like uh, a reason, purpose to walk. Uh, it's not a big distance, don't you worry. And she leaves, she leaves and when she will arrive uh, at uh, Bingley's house, she is indeed in not a very presentable condition. Her hair is all messy and uh, the skirt or the petticoat that she was wearing, it's all covered in mud, especially uh, like uh, towards the bottom, uh, like there is all mud around and she is not really in a very good condition, in a very presentable condition and everyone is shocked there. Like uh, people were sitting uh, there on a table, like a dining table and uh, they, are, they are all shocked to see uh, Elizabeth in that condition. But anyways, uh, one of uh, Bingley's sisters, uh, one of Miss Bingley's will go and uh, uh, like uh, uh, take her, take Elizabeth to uh, Jane where she is uh, like uh, resting uh, in one of the rooms upstairs and they will like, uh, she will take her, take Elizabeth there. And uh, Elizabeth will meet Jane and uh, Jane is happy that Elizabeth has come uh, she, uh, and uh, like uh, right then uh, the doctor will also arrive because uh, when she came it was uh, night time and no doctor has visited yet now in the morning. Uh, the doctor has also arrived. The doctor will check Jane and he will tell that uh, she has uh, caught a severe uh, like a very strong severe means strong very harsh cold and she needs to take rest. The doctor will leave. Uh, Elizabeth will sit uh, next to Jane for some time and later when it is 3 p.m. Uh, Elizabeth will announce that she has to leave. Why she has to leave? Because she told at home that she will be back by dinner time. So she must leave now. Uh, Jane is not very happy about this. She wants her sister to be with her side. She like requests for the same. Uh, at this uh, Miss Bingley, one of the Miss Bingleys uh, like uh, invite Elizabeth uh, to stay at their home. Uh, because Elizabeth cannot decide on her own that okay fine I will stay here it's somebody else's house right she came uh, to, to visit her uh, sister and now she must leave unless she is formally invited to stay there and Miss Bingley does that Miss Bingley invites her to stay there and uh, uh, Jane is happy Elizabeth will stay there it is all decided and then they will send a servant to uh, Longbourn to Bennett house uh, to bring uh, like uh, clothes for uh, uh, both the sisters uh, both uh, Jane and Elizabeth and uh, this was it uh, like uh, everything decided. Now 
after some time uh, elizabeth will uh, come down for dinner and uh, she she will have dinner with uh, like both uh, both the bingley sisters and uh, mr uh, mr bingley and uh, mr bingley and mr darcy mr darcy is also there uh, she while having dinner she was reminded of uh, how how rude and cold uh, bingley sisters were towards jane she she had noticed this uh, many times that bingley sisters were not very warm and welcoming towards uh, jane they were cold uh, students you understand the difference right when you are, when i'm warm oh come on welcome um, i'm hugging you i'm like offering you food and i'm i'm nice to you i'm i'm warm i'm welcoming you right and when i'm cold i'll be like uh, okay you come sit uh, wanna wanna have tea and i'll offer tea and i will not talk to you much and i'll i'll not look at you i will not like talk to you so this is a cold behavior right so elizabeth felt that uh, these sisters bingley sisters were very cold and indifferent towards jane what is indifferent indifferent is when you don't like someone indifferent is again the same type of same type of behavior if i if i behave uh, like uh, with you in a very cold manner and if i'm not uh, considerate about you if i don't like uh, consider you if i don't respect you if i don't talk to you properly I, i if i don't like you i am indifferent to you i am indifferent to you uh, i am not friendly i am indifferent to you uh, students so uh, this is all this is what elizabeth was thinking that this this is how these sisters are this is how bingley sisters are this is what uh, elizabeth was thinking and she will have her food she will not talk anything uh, uh, like she will not talk about anything uh, or she will not uh, converse at all with the bingley sisters and after her dinner she will leave after her dinner she will uh, like elizabeth will leave and go upstairs uh, uh, near her sister after she is gone bingley sisters will start talking and she are like uh, talking bad about her uh, at her back they are talking uh, they are talking about how uh, cold and how unsocial elizabeth is she did not talk to them at all she had dinner and she did not socialize with them at all and uh, they are talking uh, that uh, uh, like uh, she has no no style like uh, look at her clothes and her appearance she is not stylish at all and look at her, look her at taste her clothes are not very rich and uh, posh and very like elegant what is elegant like stylish very rich stylish elegant right and then they will t- start talking about how she appeared in the morning one of the sisters will say do you remember how she looked when she came earlier today her hair was so messy her hair was so messy and like her skirt was so uh, muddy uh, like it was it was covered Uh, in mud and that like she looked uh, horrible they are talking like this and uh, uh, they will ask mr darcy they will ask mr darcy how he found uh, her and uh, and uh, would he uh, like would he had allowed his sister to do the same like if uh, he was ill and if his sister was like visiting him would he had allowed her sister to walk 3 uh, miles Uh, to see him and mr darcy is like no 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 absolutely not it's uh, it's uh, it is not required at all it's it's a uh, cold like it's uh, actually this line was said by one of the sisters like it's uh, it's cold it's such a simple condition you don't have to like uh, walk such a long distance on foot uh, for your sister if she is she has got cold cold is such a common situation and mr darcy is saying i will not have allowed this to like my sister i would not have liked it at all i would not have appreciated it at all uh, this is so uh, what you say uncivilized this is so uncivilized this is so uh, like uh, uh, opposite of uh, being disciplined this is like uh, against uh, discipline and against decorum right so uh, mr darcy uh, like agrees with these sisters that uh, it was not a wise uh, decision to walk all this long and they are talking about elizabeth and her style and her like appearance and uh, Uh, then uh, after some time after some time elizabeth will come down elizabeth will come down uh, the, and these people are uh, uh, sitting and playing cards by then these people are sitting and playing cards by then and elizabeth will come down there is a library next to where these people are playing cards and uh, like one of them will uh, ask her would you like to play cards uh, one of uh, the others will reply uh, come on Uh, don't even think uh, anything like that uh, elizabeth does not playing cards does not like playing cards i mean uh, she likes only reading she likes only reading so uh, don't ask if she would like to play cards or uh, read she would definitely read she likes only reading she likes nothing uh, else uh, at this elizabeth will reply she will be like oh come on uh, uh, don't uh, like appreciate me like that or don't uh, uh, talk negatively about me like that so uh, it's not that i only read 
uh, and I don't do, I don't know nothing. So don't like appreciate me that she re only reads. She does not like like anything. She is avid reader. Don't talk like that. And neither uh, say that okay she will not play cards. She does not like anything else. Well, I I, I like so many other things. I like so many other things. Uh, Mr. Bingley will support her there. He will be like, yeah, I know you like uh, taking care of your sister. It was like a small uh, funny thing to say, uh, to make things light, uh, a little funny, a little uh, comic uh, reaction by Mr. Bingley. Uh, so anyways, uh, Elizabeth uh, will actually decide to read. She will sit down there and she will start reading. And uh, the conversation uh, between Mr. Darcy and uh, the both the Miss uh, Bingley, uh, uh, yeah, Bingley sisters, I should say, it will uh, change it will it will uh, the conversation will uh, move to a different topic it's a very interesting topic and something very interesting will happen here so these people start talking about uh, females and the qualities females should have uh, like all the females should have and only if they have these qualities we can uh, consider them uh, accomplished women what is accomplished women accomplished is someone who has achieved something someone who has got some skills accomplished women some uh, uh, like a, a lady who has got some skills only then we can call her accomplished so they are talking like uh, 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 a girl a female a woman should have uh, like uh, uh, like they have got they had a big list she should know uh, how to read she should know uh, like uh, how dancing she should be like she should be able to sing she should uh, uh, be uh, like uh, she should be a great painter uh, she should uh, she should have so many qualities like only if a girl has got all these qualities huh? uh, only then they can consider uh, her uh, an uh, accomplished uh, female and uh, besides having all these uh, like qualities being a singer like uh, play some musical instrument dance draw paint huh? uh, be very knowledgeable be very educated besides all these uh, she should constant uh, constantly uh, keep reading she should const constantly keep reading new books and she should keep increasing her knowledge uh, and she should have like a uh, style she should have like uh, a sense of uh, wearing fine clothes so they were talking that uh, we can consider a girl uh, a fine or accomplished girl only if she has got all these qualities and elizabeth is listening to them and after some time she will reply she will like uh, pass on a statement which was a very witty and intelligent uh, thing to say and she'll be like well with all these uh, qualities that you uh, feel uh, uh, like uh, can only make a girl accomplished uh, i'm i'm uh, I'm sure you will not be able to find more than six females, six women who are accomplished. And uh, I will not be surprised at all if you don't find any. Because you have like set such uh, high standards for any girl, any female, any woman uh, for, to be considered as accomplished that I'm sure no girl uh, is accomplished. Uh, by your standards by such high standards by uh, like uh, uh, so many requirements uh, we will not find any female accomplished at all uh, this is what she says and uh, like uh, these people are like uh, oh come on uh, you are uh, you are being harsh towards your own gender you are a female and you are saying that uh, uh, like females uh, there are no such females you are being harsh you are being severe against your own own gender and she's like no seriously like uh, all these uh, uh, qualities that you mentioned, uh, these these uh, uh, these capacities, these talents, these these tastes, these behaviors, these are like you can't find them all in one girl. Come on, it's not possible. Huh? Come on. So this is what she says, and uh, the chapter ends here. Our comic strip ends here. Uh, so basically, uh, they are uh, talking about all these qualities which uh, a girl needs to have. They are talking about the expectations that uh, people have in general from girls, from females. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll come back to Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth's reply, but then before that, uh, uh, let, let's uh, think about it. Uh, even today, even today, after like uh, uh, more than 200 years after this novel was written, uh, this situation had, has not changed much. Even today, we expect so much from girls. Uh, like uh, if you compare uh, what uh, all you expect from boys and what all you expect from girls, uh, there is a huge difference. The list of expectation from girls is much longer compared to boys we expect our girls to study hard and uh, compete with boys uh, and uh, like do good in uh, studies and uh, get proper education and besides that we also want them to uh, learn all the household chores 
uh, students chores means uh, work task or household chores household task so we want them to know how to cook uh, like we want them to know uh, knitting and sewing and uh, uh, cooking and uh, uh, like uh, sweeping the house cleaning the house dusting the house maintaining the house neat and clean and tidy and uh, we also want them uh, to like uh, know so many household uh, things uh, first aid and uh, uh, what not what not uh, students and moreover th more than that more than that we also want them to behave very politely in a very humble manner they should not talk loudly they should not uh, shout they should be like very polite and humble and and they should not uh, talk to boys they should not mingle with them they should not talk to them at all St uh, forget about mingling with them they should not play with them and uh, we have got so many like expectations from them and when it comes to uh, girls we uh, sorry boys when it comes to boys our expectations our, our list of expectation is uh, so uh, less like they can do the opposite of what we expect from girls and we are fine uh, like uh, they, don't, they can shout they can be wild and we don't care they don't need all those mannerisms they don't need to learn all those household chores right so this situation has not changed much right uh, students so elizabeth's reply was very witty very intelligent and very true that uh, these people are uh, being uh, too much judgmental these people are like uh, expecting too much from girls and they are not doing uh, like a uh, fair thing this is not correct uh, they should not uh, like have such high expectations from girls come on let them be right so this was a very interesting uh, story uh, it is a very small part of the novel uh, students uh, the novel has got uh, so many twists and uh, turns uh, like this person would get, get married to this person and so many like twists and turns it's a big novel uh, but it was a very small uh, uh, like piece of it in the form of a comic strip i am sure you would have enjoyed it uh, students uh, read through it read through it i have uh, summarized it i'm sure you'll be able to understand it uh, properly so we'll uh, meet in the next video uh, till then tata bye bye